Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to show you the finished products of the heads. They look, they look really, really good. As you can see, all mating surface is shiny. They're clean from A to Z. I've put oil to prevent any kind of flashing on the springs and everywhere. These jokers are like brand new. I accidentally had flashing afterwards and had to use steel wool and redo it all over again by hand, which kind of sucked, but I couldn't give it back to them with the steel wool in it with oil. So I went ahead and pressure washed them again after I used four rod steel wool where everywhere on all the mating surface it flashed after I dried. Well, when I before I dried it, after I pressure washed it a second time, I oiled it down first wet shook it off a little bit dried it and then immediately oiled it again that way the remnants were on there and the flashing wouldn't occur these are the 1995 svt cobra heads and they look amazing they're ready to bolt on now sorry i got limited room right here i got my bag in my laundry room um, most people don't keep parts in their house but i'm not most people as you know <laughs> Um, I'm a fanatic with this stuff. So, these roller rockers, I'm going to go ahead and clean these and place these in oil for him. So when he's ready to put back on this hardware and the roller rockers are good to go. It costs about 25 35 bucks, 40 bucks worth of all these different chemicals, sponges, discs, um, to get all this going. And that's the heads. But, I mean, if you would have had to take it to a shop, that would... At least cost you probably about a hundred, a hundred and twenty to hot tank it, and I don't think it would have turned out as good as I did it, honestly. And I'm not just saying that. So let me show you what's up to finish. The 95 T5 I have to finish. Now I went ahead and pulled that off, pulled the throwout bearing out, and cleaned the bearing retainer. It is smooth. There's no grooves. I used steel wool on that, and I got this back area. It was caked. This whole area has to be cleaned. You know what I'm talking about? I When I do stuff, I'm going to have to do it to mint. Make this thing as mint as possible. I know this is an old piece. And you see back there, there's discoloration. So, I'm going to have to degrease this correctly. And I'm going to bring this back to you in mint condition. Now, as always, the lower intakes are very dirty. I polished it all out and I degreased it. I got this up on my roof on my shed. Look at the mating surfaces. All the mating surfaces are taken care of. Sorry if you can't see. I'm trying to hold it. Everything's baby smooth. I got the top, the bottom. I got a mat up there. That has been thoroughly cleaned. I'm trying to lighten that up with sun. Now, the upper Cobra intake, I'm gonna hand clean because of this paint. If I pressure wash this, it's gonna chip the paint all the way off of it. So I'm not gonna do that. As in the last video, you saw me got the bottom mating surface there. I'm gonna show you. It looks great. No issues with it. So now I gotta finish tomorrow strong, get that transmission right, and get the rest of these things finished up and buttoned up. Like, subscribe, and share, and as always, keep on dreaming.